everyone, welcome back to Art a la Carte, and in this episode of Drawing Digitally 101, I'm going to talk about the transform tool. So you might see this a lot as people are drawing and they you know want to resize something or fix you know a portion of the drawing. I'm going to show you how they do that. So here I have a really quick sketch that I have drawn, a little kind of cute cartoon mermaid here. But there's a couple of things that I want to fix on this drawing before I move on to the process of inking it in. So one is I don't like the position of her head. I want to move that and then I don't like her arm. I think her arm is a little bit too long so I want to move that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is going to come up here to this lasso tool and on the Clip Studio Paint Pro program that I'm using it gives you a wide variety. So I can do a rectangle, I can do an eclipse, I can do a lasso, I can do a polyline which is all different straight lines. Um, and I want to do the lasso, it's kind of like free form. And I'm just going to draw around the shape that I want to move. So some parts of it I want to get a little bit more precise with other parts I can kind of go around. And in Clip Studio Paint, um, it gives you a lot of different options here. And I want to give the selection movement and shrink up, shrink down. So now with this part, I can move this selected part anywhere on the canvas that I like. I can also resize it if I want to, make it a little bit smaller. I want to bring it forward just a little bit. And then once I have it where I want, I'm just going to push the enter button. That's going to set it. And then for on this program, I'm just going to click the clear button and it's just going to clear that area. So now I can go back and re-sketch kind of the lines that I want. You just also want to remember that you're selecting on the correct layer. I only have one layer going here, but if I had several layers, I want to make sure that I have the correct layer selected before I try to transform something because it usually will pull um, whatever's on that layer. So. so let me try this one more time. I want to fix this arm. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to lasso this arm and then click that scaling. And then you can see I can move this around a little bit. So I want her arm to be down just a little bit, maybe not that much. Move it around. I also want to make it just a little bit shorter. It was a little too long. And you could just fix this in the actual sketch part, but I wanted to show you how you could do it if you wanted to use your transform tool. Once I like it, I'm going to set that. And there you go. So that's how people do it when they want to move things around. And you see them, you know, move eyes around. You're like, how do they do that? That's how you do it. You just have this. You move her eye way over here. Yee. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hope you found this helpful. And until next time, God bless you guys. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.